Thank you, Elizabeth. Meanwhile, a toddler is recovering from a gunshot wound to the face. It happened late last night with the Mississippi River. It is setting record high water levels and the floodwaters show no signs of receding. Thousands of people have had to leave their homes as the water has swamped river towns and farmland. Reporter Holly Furfer has the latest from Thank you, Jim. Yep. Thanks, Jim. Well, actress Mary Tyler Moore will undergo brain surgery today to remove a benign tumor. The United Nations has released a report saying that the world wastes 1.3 billion tons of food a year. Again, not pounds, but tons. There's a growing fear of food in An Amber Alert has just been sent from Palm Springs for a boy who has been kidnapped and forcibly taken by his mother, who's armed with a knife. The boy has a shave. An investigation is underway into a taser death in San Bernardino County. Sheriff's deputies say they were trying to subdue a man after a traffic stop. It happened along Highway 189 in Blue Jay yesterday. Deputy Part's father tells the LA Times his son was tased eight times and calls it a senseless use of excessive force. Okay, as if they weren't creepy enough, now bed bugs have been linked to drug-resistant bacteria. The discovery took place in Canada. Well, making friends at work may help you live. Oh, there we. That's a very. I don't like very that lovely. picture of me, but you guys look fantastic. <laughs> you look wonderful, sandwiched in between the two of us. All right. You know, being friends with your coworkers, it may actually make you live longer. According to a new study, being chummy with your coworkers cuts the risk of death from high cholesterol and high blood pressure. The study comes to us from Israel, where more than 800 adults were looked at and followed for 20 years. The link between friendly coworkers and morality was at its strongest for people between the ages of 38 to 43. Very Feinstein at City of Hope in Duarte, and I just spoke with a brain surgeon about the brain tumor that Mary Tyler Moore is having removed today. I'll have all the details straight ahead. That's right, Micah. I just spoke with a brain surgeon here who says when people hear brain tumor and brain surgery, they ultimately think the worst. But he says the brain surgery that Mary Tyler Moore is undergoing right now is actually quite routine. Now, Dr. John Dial says, assuming everything goes well in surgery, more should be released from the hospital within the next three days. Reporting live in Duarte, I'm Leela Feinstein for KTLA 5 News. Micah, back to you. Okay, Leela, thank you.